that. How you doing, Duff here? And I just wanted to uh, give a quick video regarding uh, something new that I've uh, been working on with these EUC stands. As you can see, I have a substantial stock of my original designs. Well, they're Matthias's designs. These are the ones that I printed, and uh, some of them I have I have done some modifications to it. But I don't want to give the impression that I was the original designer because that was Matthias. He's the one with the creativity and the skill. So anyways, yeah, I have a lot of these. I haven't sold any in a few days, unfortunately, so be sure to check out the link in the um, description box below. But anyways, one thing that I've been working on is that. That is an original design, much simpler than anything that you would see uh, Matthias come up with, because this stuff looks a lot better. But I did make this in a Tinkercad online, and you're like, okay, well, that's cool. I guess it says... EUC Army and um, it's a cool looking square thing with some cutout slots and rounded corners. But what it's actually designed to do is based on a description from um, Tim from from uh, San Francisco. He said to me, he said, you know, it might be cool if there was a way that you could make the stand more portable, that you could like um, throw it in a backpack because full size. You know, like this, it may f it may fit in a backpack, but it's not going to be very convenient. It's going to take up a lot of space. I thought about the idea a little bit, and um, Matthias thought about it, and of course he came up with a very fancy and cool-looking um, idea. But mine is more functional and simplistic, but um, it seems to be effective because I actually sent a prototype out to Tim to have him try with his King Song 16S, and uh, he loves it. He said it works great for him. So, anyways. Here it is. So you're wondering, okay, well, how, how do you use this? Well, basically, one requirement is you need to have a stand that has this new sunken lettering design. Um, a lot of my, my early stands, or my stands that are in stock, they have this raised EC, EUC Army. Well, you can't have that and use this because these raised letters will um, get in the way. Although you could, I guess, I guess you could try to cut them off or file them down if you wanted to. It might not look very nice. But the best way to do it is to buy a stand that has these letters already sunken in like this. And basically what you do is you just slide it over the top, starting at the narrow side. One. Two. And you push it down. Now you can push it all the way down to the bottom, that's not really necessary for strength, I kind of, when you push it all the way down, it gives you the most stable platform, but it's not necessary, like if you see the picture that I'm um, showing right here, you'll see Tim doesn't have it all the way down and it still works fine for his uh, King Song. But anyways, once you have that in there, you can put your stand on it, you can put your wheel in there, this is my M103, no problem, I tested this with uh, wheels all the way up to the size of my Monster, it's fine. Uh, Strength-wise and stability-wise, you know, because all the strength, all the weight is being transferred to the same stands that I've been using all along, so I wasn't worried about uh, durability. So when you're done with it, take your wheel off, turn it upside down, give it a couple shots. Now, if you don't have it pushed down as far as I do, you don't have to hit it as much. But there you go. Hold it flat, takes up not much space. Throw it in your backpack, and you're ready to go. So yeah, that's it. I just wanted to give an update on that. I'm going to be listing them on the store. Um, I'm not quite sure of the price on on this, on on the uh, on these yet because um, it's a good size object. Takes a while to print. Probably takes me about 10 to 12 hours to print. Um, so I'm thinking about maybe listing them as uh, maybe like $12.99 or something as an add-on. So like if you bought the original stand, because you can still use these stands conventionally. Um, like uh, this. Like right here's one that's put together, it has the embossed lettering, uh, it's screwed together. So basically you could buy one of the regular stands here and uh, then add this to your cart and it's not going to change your shipping costs if you do that. It'll still be the same, same shipping costs uh, if you throw this in. So if you did that you have the best of both worlds. And like I said this will be listed as a standalone item as well. So be sure to check on the store below. 
the link up uh, to the store below. If you're interested, and um, if you do buy one, I do my best to get it out as quick as possible. Uh, people that have watched Stan so far can attest to that. And please, if you do, send me a picture of your wheel on there. I'm kind of col I'm collecting pictures of uh, people with their stands from all over the country, all over the world, and I'm going to uh, utilize that on the website uh, in the future. So, so yeah, that's it. If you found this video interesting, please give it a big thumbs up. If this is your first time visiting the channel, please consider subscribing. And uh, leave your comments below. Let me know what you think. I think it's kind of cool. But I guess uh, sales will tell, huh? That's all I got for now. Until next time, Duff Man out. I forgot to mention, too, all of the stands that I'm going to be doing from here on out are going to be the more narrow length, the 15-centimeter uh, opening here, which works um, works the same with Gotway wheels, with um, Segways, with 9Bots, and with Inmotion wheels, but also should work for the, uh, the different pedal design on the King Song wheels. So, yeah, all of them are going to be 15-centimeter openings, and the opening on this on uh, this is actually 14.5 centimeters, which again should work with all the wheels, just FYI. And also just a reminder, if you like your stuff personalized and you want this lettering here to be something uh, different than EUC Army, that can be done. It costs a little bit more, but it uh, can be done. And uh, I could actually change the lettering on this as well, if that's your thing. And one more thing, I do eventually plan to be making some more of these in more neutral colors, like you know, black, white, or gray, something like that. But uh, just uh, because of filament availability, that's why they are the colors they are. It does not uh, affect functionality. So um, if you're really into color coordination, uh, you might want to wait a little bit. You must stop making stands. Stop.